So managing cravings. The definition of a craving is a powerful desire for something. The more you can illuminate your patterns of cravings and triggers, the more awareness you can bring to them, the less power they will have over you. About cravings. Cravings are the response to an internal or external stimulus. So it can be an internal feeling of nostalgia or celebration, or on the negative side of it, a feeling of entitlement or frustration, resentment. External stimulus can be something like you know, seeing your friends enjoying a drink on the patio. Cravings are an issue of brain chemistry. You may feel a heightened sense of arousal. Cue-induced cravings come from your memory. Long after our last drink, our brains and memories still associate drinking with a flood of reward chemicals for our brain. So what to do when craving strikes? Replace. Quickly replace the craving energy with a more beneficial or fun activity. Replace. Quickly replace the craving energy with a more beneficial or fun activity. Take a walk or any form of exercise. Pick up something to read, turn on a podcast or audiobook. Remain. Breathe your way through it. Stay calm or meditate for 10 or 15 minutes, which is the time that a craving generally lasts. Take some time to get curious about your craving. What triggered it? What kind of emotions were you feeling? What kind of day were you having? Do a check-in with yourself. Journal this out. The more awareness you can put on the cravings, the less power they will have over you. Distract. Distraction is a passive coping strategy. Distraction is a passive coping strategy in that the person copes without directly confronting the situation or trying to solve the problem. Call someone. Put yourself out in a public area where interactions are inevitable. The other good news is these have a lot of other benefits other than just a mindset shift. You will be able to be more active and in a better mood in no time. Speaking of replace, remain, distract. The good news is that these have a lot of other benefits other than just a mindset shift. So you'll be able to be more active and in a better mood in no time. So plan to stay in control. The more detailed and specific you are about what triggers you, the more you can stay ahead of your cravings. Keep notes in your phone or in your journal when cravings hit. This also replaces the energy that the craving is using with a more curious energy of discovery. What is your craving telling you? Having said that, know when to remove yourself from a situation too. This can be physically leaving a situation or location. It can also mean finding a temporary distraction. Accept that you won't always feel like nor have the energy to be curious about your cravings. And that's okay and perfectly normal. Sobriety brings up a lot of emotions. The emotions that you used to numb out or express through the distorted lens of alcohol. And check in with yourself. How am I feeling? What do I need? And what would I love? The best way to stay out of your head is to have someone you can share this experience with. A sponsor, a coach, or counselor, a friend in recovery, an online sober community. We've talked about what the craving is, where it comes from, and what to do when it comes. Here is your real-time, real-life action plan. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Here are some ideas for 10-minute activities that will get you through the craving. Brisk walk, read out loud, shake it out, jog, 50 air squats, body weight exercises, push-ups, sit-ups, yoga, breath work, distraction through YouTube, call somebody, log into a community, go out somewhere publicly, eat a hot pepper, kind of a strange one there, it's kind of fun, uh, journal, play an instrument, sing or karaoke, eat or drink, hit a punching bag, pray, shower, express yourself, whether it's artistically, however that may look.